you. No, I hate you too. I hate you more, you f***ing You the most. Okay, f*** oh. you, f***ing. Ah! Ah! Hey, hey. Ah! You don't think I'm gonna see my No, I'm not letting you near my kids. You don't think I'm gonna see my kids again, huh? He's got a lot of money. Now I hate you, you well, slut bastard. You. If you leave here, I hate you. you I you haven't paid attention here. to anything that's been happening. I'm sure you felt the frustration of arguing with your wife or girlfriend and they just won't seem to listen. You often end up regretting what you say, you guys hurt each other, and at the end of it, you begin to question the longevity of the relationship. Well, today you're going to discover the five top mistakes men make during conflict and conversation with their wife or girlfriend that will only guarantee to push her away further. The first mistake men make is what I call avoiding the pain. Check it out. I have zero life, Jack. I am a housewife to three teenagers who do not need me anymore. And I have a husband who waltzes in every night at eight o'clock if I'm lucky, goes to the kitchen, recaps his day for me, and then passes out upstairs at 10 o'clock. I have no life. I am a freaking ghost. You can see in this moment, his wife is bearing her deepest emotion of the fear of isolation and feeling stuck in life. And instead of responding with the perfect formula of you feel this emotion for this reason, he turns around, walks away, and drops a sarcastic remark. Wow, well, you know what? That is something. This shows that he is abandoning her and not taking her emotions seriously. And of course, it ends up like this. You don't know what I've given up. Out. You don't know no, the no. things that I've had to do. The you crap that I've had to eat. And the second mistake is what I call using logic over emotion. Check out the scene. You squeezed my hand and said it was fine. You said I love you. Don't worry, it's fine. Well, Malcolm, I changed my mind. How can you just change your mind? Honestly, it's pretty easy. That doesn't seem a little crazy to you. Nope. Now you can see in that scene, his girlfriend said it was okay at the time, but later on, new events caused new emotions to arise. And he tried to deal with it logically saying, well, you said it was okay, now it's not. The thing is, is that when women are emotional, they aren't accessing their logical part of the brain. They're in their amygdala and their thalamus. That part is that flight or fright when nothing really matters except for how they feel in the moment. But as a man, we're very direct and our words have weight to it. So when a girl says that this is how it was at this time, and then later she doesn't, to us, it seems crazy, but to a woman, it is. Isn't. And when you can understand her emotions first, she calms down and then you can use logic. Honestly, this whole way of women thinking and conversation is summed up by this quote. A woman's mind is cleaner than a man's. She changes it more often. If you wanna have a successful relationship, you must understand this as a fact with female nature. The third mistake that men make in conflict and conversation is they don't understand that the little things do matter. Check out the scene. You know what? No, that's, see, that's not what I want. You just said that you want me to help you do the dishes. I want you to want to do the dishes. Why would I want to do dishes? Why? See, that's my whole point. Let me see if I'm following this, okay? Are you telling me that you're upset because I don't have a strong desire to clean dishes? No, I'm upset because you don't have a strong desire to offer to do the dishes. I just did. After I asked you. Jesus, Brooke, you're acting crazy again. Don't you call me crazy. There we go with the whole crazy word again. Do not call your partner crazy, okay? Now look, to a guy in our logical brain, as we talked about before, doing the dishes or getting your wife a card on her birthday, these little things don't matter to you. But to a woman, the meaning it has is a lot more. To her, the little things speak higher volumes to the narrative and who you are as a man. To her, if you don't listen about getting her lemons at the grocery store when she asked, that tells her the meaning that you don't care about her words and her needs. The small things speak to a larger picture in a woman's mind. In fact, when I work with my marriage mastery clients, oftentimes that straw that breaks the, the marriage back is a small little thing that happens. One client in particular, forgetting to get his wife a Valentine's Day card and only bringing her flowers when she wanted the card every year before, that was the conversation that blew up into this whole big picture of everything else falling apart. The fourth mistake that men make in conversation, even women make this is, well, let's do the whole you counter and you'll see what I mean. Yes, don't don't tell me about my world. Change. Don't tell me about my world. I mean, you just want to have your little fling with like the guy from the other side of town. Then you're going to go off to Stanford. You're going to marry some rich prick who your parents will approve of and just sit around with the other trust fund babies and talk about how you went slumming too once. No, you're not going. You're not leaving. What do you want to know? What? That I don't have 12 brothers? Yeah. That I'm a Orphan? No, you don't want to hear that. I didn't know no, that. you don't want to hear that. You don't I want to hear that I got it. cigarettes put out of me when I was a little kid. No, I didn't know that this that. isn't surgery. That the mother stabbed me. You I don't want to hear that. Skyla. Look, when you use the word you in conversation, in conflict, what happens is human beings, not just women or men, is that we become defensive. And that defensiveness goes back and forth. You guys go into this you versus her conversation where it's a battle against both of you. Instead, when you remove you and say I, take full responsibility, both of you are able to remain calm and work on you together versus the problem instead of you two against each other. The fifth mistake that men make in conversation that makes things worse with their wife or girlfriend is what I call the samskara assumption. The word samskara 
samskara comes from the Indian philosophy and means, according to various schools, that every action, intent, or preparation by an individual leaves a samskara in the deeper structure of the person's mind. These impressions then await volitional fruition in the individual's future in the form of hidden expectations, circumstances, or a subconscious sense of self-worth. These samskaras manifest as tendencies, karmic impulses, subliminal impressions, habitual potencies, or innate dispositions. With all that, what it simply means is that you have a preconceived notion of deep internal fears and things that will happen to you based on past trauma. You see, Matt Damon's character, when he said all those things about going slumming for that guy, it probably happened to him before. And he sees Skylar, the woman in the movie of Good Will Hunting, as better than him. He feels less than. So he's putting that paradigm or that samskara out there to the world with his beliefs, his emotions, his thoughts, and his actions. And what that does is it serves to reinforce that fear. Now here's the truth. That samskara, we all have. We all have trauma from past relationships, from the current relationship you have, and even back to your mother or father. And if you have an inability to identify that deeper karma in you, that samskara, that assumption you make, you'll perpetuate the same problem over and over. This is why the only thing you have in common with the woman you date is yourself. If you fail to fix this problem in the relationship now, it'll repeat in the next relationship and the next relationship. And this is why the divorce rate only increases as time goes on. You'll end up living a life of despair and loneliness. I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm just saying that this is truth. This is something that I dealt with for multiple relationships until I figured it out. Now, if you need support overcoming these deeper underlying root issues with your wife or girlfriend, what you can do right now, set up a free call with my team down below. On that free call, we're going to assess what problems in your relationships you've had that led them to fall apart or to currently fall apart with your wife or girlfriend, and how to overcome them to have a happy, thriving, long-lasting relationship. Check out this video right here. Thanks for watching the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Smash like too if you uh, like the video.